Fortnite is a scavenge and survive map from Epic Games. Revealed in December 2011, there's been a troubling silence around Fortnite until a Game Informer cover this year confirming it was going to be free to play. But don't let those three words trouble you. We've played it and here are our first impressions. A little bit of background first. In Fortnite, weapons, ammo and structures are crafted using resources harvested from the world. However, instead of just pressing a button to use an abandoned truck, for example, you have to beat the thing with whatever melee weapon you have on hand, smacking orange factor points to speed up the process. This is all preparation for defending against husks, undead enemies intent on battering down your walls. And since each map is procedurally generated, from terrain to building placement, you'll never start off knowing exactly how best to align your defences. The build of Fortnite we played supported three classes, the Commando, the Ninja and the Constructor. Commandos specialise in firearms and explosives, ninjas favour melee weapons and acrobatics, and Constructors build forts. Fortnite does an excellent job of encouraging teamwork, but fighting the hordes is mostly a matter of balancing ammunition, weapon durability and health bars, rather than the high-speed jousts of Unreal Tournament or the tense cover duels of Gears of War. It's more like Minecraft but with better combat rather than horde mode with building. Fortnite also doesn't look very unreal. Expect thin, cartoony characters and a bright world of colourful trees and crooked architecture. There's also a more diverse cast of playable characters than in previous Epic games, from body type to race to gender. Fortnite is Epic's first free-to-play 100% online PC game, but the current plan is to keep monetization as far away from the core playing experience as possible. Instead, players can buy card packs that offer random distributions of rare crafting schematics and cosmetic upgrades. Card boosters won't be the only way players can augment their performance in the game. Fortnite's home base will be a major part of the final product. Players progress through randomly generated co-op campaigns, unlocking more regions on a hexagonal map. Eventually, these will go towards crafting a player's very own home base. Different structures will provide passive boosts, and players can also invite their friends to explore their HQ on foot. There's also a PvP mode, which starts out like the co-op mode, but pits you against an opposing team. Taking out individual players won't bring your team any closer to victory, but it does momentarily deprive the others of a base defender or a resource gatherer. Of the two modes, PvE is more frantic and immediate, where PvE is more of a slow burn of 